black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. All right, yo, what is up? What is good with y'all? <laughs> Got myself some Osmos Mediterranean cuisine. We're making what you're craving. Osmos. Really, really delicious spot. Got myself a big old chicken shawarma, five falafel balls on the side, and a little dipping sauce. Um, 30 days sober today. We did it. I have a month of sobriety. So uh, in this video, maybe we'll talk about that. The experiences, where I'm at, things like that, uh, what it's been like, what I've been going through, things like that. But let's bust into this food. Okay, so first things first, congratulations me for 30 days of sobriety. <laughs> However, it's getting nice out. Spring is coming and that does not bode well for a drinker's mind. However, we're not cracking. It just, uh, you know, the nice weather brings the crave, but that's not what happened. That's, that's not what's happening today. We're having falafels instead. So uh, instead of feeling awful after drinking, we'll just have falafels, okay? So if you don't know what falafels are, it's a uh, chickpea mash, essentially a seasoned up mash of chickpeas. And uh, you got a little garlic sauce on the side. They're fresh, they're hot, and they are delicious. So let's dip up a falafel. Very, very good. So what's been going on? Well, I'd say for the past two weeks, off and on, well, pretty debilitatingly, anxiety, just out the asshole. Now, That's nothing new to me. I've dealt with this off and on through my 20s. I've talked about this shit on here before. Mm -hmm. And uh, the anxiety is kind of rough, especially when it's constant and like doesn't let up. When that happens, lucky people like me who've already been through it. Now, luckily enough, I have. Not lucky. It sucks, but I've been through it, so I know how to process it. What happens is, is your body has, like, this defense mechanism when you're on constant high alert, cortisol just spiking, and uh, these ruminating thoughts that you can't get out of your head, basically, that cause you to be in a perpetually anxious state. Um, there's a, uh, a defense mechanism in your, in your brain that essentially starts to make you dissociate, derealize or depersonalize where life becomes hyper realistic, surreal, vivid, you become detached feeling things start to feel a little fake, a little video game ish for anybody who's been through it. You know what I'm talking about. It's scary. It's the worst. It sucks. But. It's only really terrifying. If it's your first time going through it. Now I'm a seasoned vet. Okay. I've been through the derealized state. Many times. And the more that you are equipped with the tools. On how to deal with it. Knowing what it is. Knowing that it doesn't actually last. It's not forever. It's not for like. It's for real, but it's not forever. Um, you, what you try to do is go force yourself into situations where that puts you in the now. And the more you actually stop thinking about it, the sooner it clears. So I was able to make that kind of lift. We're not fully through it. Like today I feel quite good I feel of myself I actually have a calm clarity about me today which is what drove me to do this I was sitting at home and I really didn't know what to do with myself and I have like this calm clarity but 
at the same time, I felt bored and anxious and like I needed to do something, just go somewhere and do something. So I'm like, I'll just go get this food. Go for a drive, it's nice out. Something to engage in. Um, the hard part about it is though, is when I have this calm clarity, the drinking and the boredom go hand in hand like in my previous, like drinking was baked into my identity in a scenario like this, right? Where it's coming to be the evening, it's that time of night. Where I would usually drink, I'm not drinking though. So I have to find things to do. However, not easy when if you're going through the derealization and stuff, you feel also kind of like really uneasy and trapped and like you don't even want to go do stuff. So then it's a vicious cycle of like, oh, do I just stay and ruminate in the house? But eventually these things get better when you've been through it multiple times. And I've been through it multiple times. Now, this is a large size shawarma, chicken shawarma, huge. I thought they were gonna cut it. Turns out they're not. So we're having a full on mandingo glizzy right now. That's all I'm saying. And if you know that reference, you know that reference. And I do, but that's another thing I'm trying to stop. I have been not visiting adult sites anymore. We're really trying to clean things up around here. That's what I'm trying to say. Chicken shawarma, lettuce, peppers, pickled turnip, all the stuff, but it doesn't look like there's much in here. But maybe I gotta get into the thick of it. Mmm, wow, well, turnip just hit. Turnip's awesome. Got some fries thrown in here. It hasn't been hard to not drink. I can tell you that. It, uh,. been rather simple to not drink but as time goes on and you start feeling better and the weather's nice and that old identity that you've shed is no longer there as a crutch right That's when the challenge starts. Is shaping a new you without the alcohol. And occupying your mind, finding constructive things to do in the time that you would normally kind of just be drinking and sedating yourself, really. quiet the no noise give yourself that dopamine hit little serotonin kick get in your little zen zone of being buzzed up so if anything that's where things get a little dicey But I've managed to get my sleep rhythm pretty okay. I got off. I'm like a bunch of days off of the uh, the pharmaceutical meds that they gave me. I just I'm just trying to see what it's like without them for a bit. My mental clarity is better. So 
those were making me a little foggy. My appetite's been up and down. Some days I feel like eating like almost nothing. Today I was hungry. Also shout out uh, Sober TikTok. I've curated my TikTok feed to be about sobriety and people in sobriety and all that stuff. Telling their war stories. What they do, how they do, the way they view things now. I have to say, it's been extremely helpful. A few people in specific, this one dude named Cody, K-H-O-D-I. His eyes were completely like yellow. He basically died a bunch of times like while trying to get better and stuff. Crazy story. A wrap overlap. Oh, I'm just eating some paper. Like anything, there's good days, there's bad days. It fluctuates. taking my time with it allowing myself to feel what feels right per day how hard to push if I need to chill if I need to take some time listening to positive right like good uplifting things informative things it's a process I ho I'm hopeful by two months I'll be like living in a whole new me Clean and clear and under control, just feeling like really solid about things in life. But who knows? Could take longer. What's the most interesting thing is. When you find yourself in this scenario that you didn't think you'd find yourself in as it creeps up on you. And then you go looking for the community and you find out that like there's so many people who have had almost the identical experience as you in life relative to this. And where you once felt super alone, you realize that you're just one of millions of people going through the same thing. So. That's a relief. And it's good to hear from seasoned people who, you know, when you're in the beginning stages of something and they've been through it, like they're like years and years down the road and they're happy and successful and they feel better than they ever have in their entire life that gives you uh, that sense of hope right that you need to keep walking the path So 
I'm glad to have found the others. Just thought I'd rap about that as my where I'm at right now with the 30 days. You know, out and about for a cruise, something to eat. Haven't had a shawarma in forever. Totally forgot this place even existed up here. It's on the other side of town. And uh, just try to find solace in the, uh, you know, in the boredom, but the clarity and all that stuff. So anyways, till the next one, you know, to do, eat good, live well. <laughs> Stay true.